Hey, how's it going, everybody? Frankie Slauson here. And, uh, how's it going? <laughs> oh, goodness gracious. Today, well, it's kind of a special, special day, kind of. And no, not just because it's Super Bowl weekend, you know. It's because I got a whole bunch of packages today. Look at all this stuff I got. I got a poster here. Post here that's actually for a friend of mine, but I will open. I got, and then I got some other DVDs. I got, I was waiting, there's like eight DVDs I was waiting for, and uh, I just kind of wanted to uh, be able to open them and, and whatnot. So, what we're gonna do, we're gonna bring these, bring these to the living room here, and uh, go and open them real quick before I gotta get ready to go to work. I have to go to work here about half an hour, so yeah, we'll just do that and uh, hope you guys uh, hope you enjoy it. Try not to make it too too boring here, but we'll, we'll open the poster here first because this is actually something that I got for a friend of mine uh, here because he well he he asked me to find it for him and of course he wanted one that was actually really big. And stuff, but uh, oh, I don't know. I tried to do what I could with what with what money that I had. I guess I couldn't. Sadly enough, I couldn't afford everything that he wanted. But but I figured help him out. You know, try to be a good friend. Hold on here. Oh, okay. It's nice getting packages. You know, I'd I'd rather get packages and bills. You know. <laughs> I'm sure a lot of you guys agree with me. Okay. So inside you can see there's a poster. So what 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 is the poster? What kind of poster is it? Well we'll find out. Of course I already know, but you know. This kinda of reminds me of the wrapping that they did on uh Brendan's uh latest on bubbling. But lots of poster ain't wrecked that you know it's all that I care. So I think what I might do, might do for my friend here is uh be a guy, be a nice pal, and, and buy him a frame too for it. It's not that big, it's only like 11 by 17, so. All the special wrapping and crap. All right, and what is it for? The classic poster of a classic film, Meatballs. Yes, Meatballs. And uh, my friend uh, John, who you've seen in uh, pre previous videos before, uh, he loves Meatballs. And he, you know, I was mentioned to him that I could probably find this stuff online if he was interested. So I did. And I want to be a pal. I'm going to uh, put a nice frame in here for him and whatnot before I give it to him. Think he liked that? Cause he's not really one to really put up a whole lot of posters. Like I, I got him a like that Back to the Future poster that I got that was uh, custom made for the 25th anniversary of uh, of the movie, and I bought him a frame for that. And then he was he hung it up because I don't think originally he was gonna hang it up. I was like, well, what, why did I get you the poster if I, you're not gonna hang it up? And last but not least, the DVDs. Yesterday I did get a package, well, my first shipment, and it was uh, from the Disney Movie Club, and, uh, well, uh, I got Toy Story 1, 2, and 3, and uh, a mom for Christmas, and you know how much I spent on that? You figure, because Toy Story especially would be like, what, 20 bucks a piece about, you figure? Uh, I just recently joined the movie, uh, Disney Movie Club, there were four for a dollar. Four for a dollar. Can you believe that? I couldn't believe it. I thought, you know, because I saw the advertisements. I'm sure you guys have seen them too online and whatnot. And it's like, well, that can't be. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I wasn't going to do a quick DVD uh, thing today, but I figure might as well do it. Might as well get the video up there so that by the time tonight, when I get home at midnight tonight, then I can probably, uh, See if I got any feedback and whatnot. And hopefully, oh, yeah, I, can, 
I know what this one is already. Because there's another DVD that I ordered from my friend as well. Such a nice guy. <laughs> oh, yes. Well, <laughs> I, I guess I should have should have expected this because <laughs> oh, no. Well, <laughs> oh look at this! I'm gonna have to get a different case or something for this, but look at this! <laughs> it's all wrecked. Luckily, I didn't pay a whole lot for it. I I only got this for like a penny. And two dollars shipping or three dollars shipping handling, but man, holy moly! Look at this packaging. The disc, you know, it looks fine, so I'm okay with that, you know. But man, it's just like, holy moly! Wow, that's the first time that's ever happened to me. Whew. Well, I guess what I'm gonna have to do is throw this case out because it's not. It's not good, but I'll keep the, the photo and the paper and stuff, and you know, keep all that because that's obviously, obviously that's worth keeping. I can just get another case. Okay, so look, look at this. Look at all this. All right. What the fuck? <laughs> that's the first time that's ever happened to me. Oh well, I guess there's a first time for everything. I guess. If it all goes worse, I'll just get it like a slipcase for it for now. It's not the biggest deal in the world. I mean, a lot of the disc works and everything, but man, now, now look at this. Now I just gotta do it like this for now. Now I'll just. It's all good, but you know. I guess if I would have paid full price for it, maybe it would have been fine, but whatever. Okay, time is not on my side today, but I got, I got a little time. Okay, the next one. Hopefully this one will be a little bit better condition because I think this one's from my friend here, maybe. But, yeah, can you believe that? Holy moly. <laughs> so, I didn't pay that much for it. I only paid like a penny that I got for $3, but, you know, I, I know they said it was used and stuff, but, it, you know, most of the time, anytime I get that's used, you know, is in better condition than what I just got, so I don't know, that kind of pissed me off a little bit. But obviously, the person just wanted to sell it just to get rid of it, mostly. But anyway, oh well, I'm not gonna complain too much. Okay, this is see, this is a little bit better condition. This is a movie for my friend John. It's called Wedding for Bella, aka The Bread, My Sweet. It's a movie that he, he uh, saw a few years ago. Uh, I guess probably back in 2000, 2000 or 2004 or whatever, whenever it came out. And uh, he said he really he liked it. He went and saw it at an independent theater and whatnot. I've never seen this one, but he, he said Scott Bale was in it. And uh, it's like a little romance movie or whatever. So let's check the desk here. It looks like it's good. This is the way it's supposed to be. See, I didn't pay that much for this one either, but huh. these, these people know how to pack it. I'm waiting for one more movie that should be coming, and that's the paper with uh, Michael Keaton. But anyway, okay, the last one, and this is from Disney, because uh, I also, once I paid for my shipment, my dollar anyway, then I also just went ahead and uh, got. Uh, or made an order of two films that I have, you know, one I've seen and the other I haven't, but uh, they are the original, well, not the original, but this is the Angels in the Outfield. Uh, I guess there was a movie called Angels in the Infield that just this, this was a, kind of a, a parody of, kind of, or, or a remake of, but I like this movie more than I liked any of the other Angels movies. Or whatnot, like Angels in the end, end Zone and whatnot. Christopher Lloyd did a good job as the Angel and all that. And if you guys haven't seen it, you should definitely check it out. It sounds like the disc is good. So, and then the original uh, Inspector Gadget movie with Matthew Broderick. 
I got this one because I've never seen it before, but I like Matthew Broderick, you know, Ferris Bueller. And I, I, I didn't care, I don't care for Fred Stewart. I think Fred Stewart's kind of a horrible actor. He doesn't really know how to act. He may, he may have been great in uh, the uh, Third Rock of the Sun, but when you put on all these remakes or like like movies like Home Alone 4 or Inspector Gadget 2 or whatever, he just a whole, I, I just don't like him. I, I think he's, he just doesn't know how to act. And it has nothing to do with the fact that he's, you know, can barely see or whatever. It's just that I just don't like him. You know, I, I, maybe I'm a horrible person for saying that, but I guess that's my own opinion, I guess. Huh? So anyway, so those are all the stuff I've gotten so far. Maybe later on I'll show you guys kind of some of the newer editions because since the last time I ever did a DVD update and since I had to t originally take those other DVD or those other videos down that I put up uh, back in November or whatever when I moved here, I did a review on like around the country and all that stuff. It's been so long since I've actually done anything DVD related. The only reason why I didn't is because, uh, you know, going outside and doing it out in the cold was not really that fun. But I had to figure out something so I could at least, you know, keep you guys posted that I'm still here, still around, and whatnot. But uh, anyway, so I'll, maybe I'll show you guys more later, later on. But uh, enjoy the latest episode of the Tuesday Night Experiment. And uh, I'm Frankie Slauson, and we'll see you again for another great uh, video. <laughs> All right.